So hi guys, I am now with Jacob. We went to the market to buy the ingredients with the ground pork and the ingredients we need the onion, the garlic, the bell pepper, the carrots, and the potatoes. Hi Charms Ganyan and hi to everyone who's watching right now. Hi. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video guys, we are now going to make the... So for today's video guys, I am now with Jacob. Say hey Jacob. <laughs> So, we are now going to cook a tortang giniling. Wow! Because one of my subscribers requesting me to make this to know the ingredients as the Filipino food dish in Philippine skies. So, first thing we do guys is we have to peel off the carrots and then slice it into small pieces. And then later on is the potatoes we have to peel up again and then slice it into small pieces and then also the bell paper is there so we have to cut out the seeds inside and then slice it and there are onions and garlics too so that's it So Jekka now is here guys to help me to cut the ingredients which is the potatoes and the carrots. We have to make this one into small pieces. So tortangi milling is a type of Filipino omelet wherein ground meat or beef and pork most common. It is suited with vegetables such as the onion, the garlic, the potatoes, the carrots, and the bell pepper. So right now guys, I am so busy because I was uh, looking for a plate to put the ingredients. The tortang giniling guys is a typical breakfast food. It is best served with the garlic fried rice and banana ketchup. So this meal can serve into breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but mostly it is served on breakfast, guys. Well, this can also serve as your child's packed lunch meals or your lunch at work, especially when you're on the go, always on the go. <laughs> so this Filipino food dish, guys, is easy to prepare, economical, and delicious. So Jekka now guys is cleaning our vegetables, the carrots and the potatoes. We need to wash it so that it will clean, you know. <laughs> Oops. So Jekka is making her own recipe guys. After you put the garlic in the pot and then the next is the magic syrup. It's her own idea, so I guess it's right. <laughs> so after we put the garlic and the magic syrup, next is the onion. And then we have to mix it so that the aroma will spread out. After you mix the onion and the garlic guys with the magic syrup is you have to put the ground pork and then combine it and mix it all over. So then the next thing to do guys is you have to put the black pepper and mix it. Time to cook guys! So as you can see guys, I was mixing the ingredients and the ground pork inside the big pot and because 
there's no more uh, butane or gas so we have to change our location to outside so let's go so we're here now so as you can see guys the fire the fire was so high so as you can see guys our ground port now is almost cooked it's changed the color into brown our pork so it's almost done so after we boiled guys the next thing to do is to put the amount of salt so th at this moment we have to put the carrots and then the potatoes inside of the big pot with the ground pork guys so we have to mix it all and then we have to wait this one to make it smooth the carrot because you know carrot is hard so I'm sorry guys if I don't have a video when Jacob put the soy sauce there because I was inside to get a plate to transfer our guinea leg. So after we mix the carrot and the potatoes and the ground pork, the next is the kitchen. And then also the bell pepper and mix it again oh wow so that was our kneeling guys oh my god so yummy to see uh, especially to taste it so we have to mix it because it's already cooked our carrots the vegetables and also the pork and then next thing to do guys is to taste it Three, two, one! Mmm, yummy, my tummy! Yummy foodie! So it's almost done, guys, our kneeling. So later on, we're going to prepare our egg. We have to wait this for at least 8 minutes and then it's already cooked. Wow! And now it's done, so we have to transfer this into a bowl. So next thing you do after the cook with the guineling is you have to crack the egg. So we have three eggs. Uh, to mix it into our guineling to make it a tartan guineling. So, Jekka was already cracked it and mixed it into our pot here with this guineling. So, this is uh, the face now. So after we transfer our guineling guys is we have to heat the oil again for our tartang guineling. So we will just wait this one to heat the oil. So at this moment we have to pour the guineling with the beaten eggs. So we have to make it cold guys like a pizza hot. <laughs> So we will just wait. So we have to cook each side for 30 minutes or until we see that the eggs are fully cooked. Hope oh, please avoid overcooking the eggs. We have to make it whole like a pizza. So this is now the hardest part guys. It is a challenge to flip the omelette. Oh my god, I hope our omelette will not be cracked. So it is quite challenging to flip the omelette guys. 
to ensure that our door can be kneeling. Well, land in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? You're going to going to Buengan <laughs> because mother knows best, guys. So we need a help from my mom here to flip the omelet to make it success. Omg. guys to flip it so perfectly but thanks good our omelette was now cooked and it's good it's in medium heat so let's eat is it <laughs> <laughs> very very hot very very hot <laughs> because it's just you know How is it? Good? Yummy? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs>